All righty, ladies and gentlemen. My webcam wasn't working for a couple months there. It's working this morning for some reason, maybe for a limited time. I don't fucking know there. Usually when I did vids with the webcam, the audio would be all fucked up there. I'd have to talk like this or else it would the audio would fuck up. <laughs> So I got my shitty little microphone that I use for the live shows. Let's test this shit out to see how it goes there. Um, Dolph Ziggler, ladies and gentlemen. Little quick sip of some of that black coffee, ladies and gentlemen. So Dolph Ziggler has this new gimmick where he talks shit about other people's gimmicks. Somebody wrote to me on Facebook there, Ziggler copied a bunch of people, Billy Gunn, Mr. Perfect, Shawn Michaels, Rick Rude. He stole a whole bunch of people's gimmicks. He failed. And now he's talking shit about, other, about gimmicks. Pretty ironic, I guess, eh? He steals, he fails. Now we talk shit about the gimmicks or whatever. Um, straight up there, why the fuck would WWE put this nonsense on their television there? You have a guy that sucks, okay? His gimmicks or whatever the fuck he is, it fails there. The company doesn't see him as a legit star. The fans don't see him as a legit star. All right, it can be his looks, his annoying, shitty personality, or whatever the fuck it is there. It just isn't working. So what do they do? They have him go on television Talking shit about gimmicks that actually work. Why would WWE put this on their television? Could you imagine, let's say there's like a Batman movie or something. There's a guy on the show that they create this new Batman character there. His name is Lion Face or something. A guy with a lion mask and... A fucking Speedo and fucking nipple rings or something. The gimmick just doesn't work. People don't care about Lion Face. The comic book people don't like him. So you have a, a Batman movie and Lion Face comes out there. Well, uh, Batman character is overrated. It's only his costume. Oh, this Joker guy, it's... Uh, it's all makeup. He's not really a real clown. He's just a guy in the costume. Oh, the Riddler, it's just a guy with a question mark. What's so cool about that? You're not going to see a character putting down all the other characters in the movie there. Hey, why are you watching this? Everybody sucks. <clears throat> you understand what I'm saying? So WWE, they have him go on there burying the other wrestlers. Like last night on SmackDown, he's burying Bailey. Comes out imitating Bailey. Oh, it's just an entrance. She, she's nothing, blah, blah, blah. What if the people are sitting at home and they're like, oh, yeah, man. Maybe he's on to something. Bailey sucks. <clears throat> I'm not going to buy any more Bailey t-shirts. You understand? Like Bailey sells way more t-shirts than Dolph Ziggler ever did. Why would you have him go on your show telling fans that Bailey is worthless? Then the fans might stop buying the t-shirts after. This is ridiculous. Straight the fuck up there. 
You understand? Why the fuck would you do this? Why would WWE fucking do this shit? You have Ziggler running to the ring with the Ultimate Warriors music, the mask, like a wig or whatever. Looking like a skinny fucking retard. He runs to the ring. Starts talking shit about Warrior. Like if Warrior was fuck all. Just an entrance and shit like this. Well, first of all, you look at Warrior. The man had a great physique or whatever the fuck. Dolph Ziggler looks like a fucking skinny homo retard the way he was doing the entrance. Insinuating that if he had the Warrior's entrance, he could have gotten over like the Warrior. Get the fuck out of here. You fucking goofball. Warrior had a presence, he captivated the audience or whatever the fuck there. The man had charisma, a certain mystique to him. That's why he fucking captivated the audience. Why the fuck would WWE have fucking gay-ass Ziggler go on TV putting down the Warrior? It's bad enough they did the rise and fall of warrior bullshit. Then they bring him back. They act like if everything's okay. He dies the day after the Hall of Fame. And now they have Ziggler there putting him down. Talking shit about him. What the fuck is wrong with this company? Very, very, very disrespectful to the warrior. I mean, really there. You know, if I fucking go out there with Hulk Hogan's music and I dress up like Hogan, am I going to get over just like Hogan? There, give me a fucking break. It's not just dressing up and acting a certain way that gets it that gets him over. It's not like if Ziggler would go back in time looking like a skinny fucking retard, acting like warrior. <clears throat> it's not like if people would have started loving him the same way that they loved the warrior. Give me a fucking break there. Fucking retarded, man. Why? Why in the name of fuck is WWE doing this? You have a guy that sucks and fails. He's not good enough to truly get over. He's, you know, he's very fucking pissed off at this. He's always talking shit online about the other wrestlers. How he should be the top guy. He's the hardest worker. In reality, he, he just believes his own hype there. You understand? That's what it is. The man isn't better than anybody else. He's not even cool or anything. Just an annoying, boring, fucking rip-off queer is what he is. You understand there? The man believes in his own mind that he should be a giant star. Sadly, reality doesn't agree with him. He's obviously very, very jealous and bitter at the other wrestlers. Not just this recent gimmick... But he's been jealous and bitter for fucking years online. For years talking like this there. The company doesn't use him right. He should be a star. Well, you're not a star. You're a fucking boring bitch. A, a fucking queer that sucks is what he is. Very annoying. Very boring there. Oh, he's good at selling moves. Who the fuck gives a shit? Fuck, 90% of them are good at selling moves. Come on, there. His fans, his three fans have nothing good to say about him. Oh, he's good at selling moves. Ho <laughs> ho! You know? But why would WWE put a goof like this that sucks, that's not getting over, put him on television and have him bury wrestlers that their gimmicks actually work. It sends a bad message to the audience. Oh, maybe Ziggler's right. Uh, 
Maybe I should stop fucking buying Bailey shirts. Maybe blah, blah, blah. You understand there? It's very fucking counterproductive. Super counterproductive. This guy keeps saying he wants to leave. He wants to quit. Then get the fuck out. You boring, no good, fucking worthless piece of shit. Get the fuck out, man. What a boring idiot. And WWE has him on TV. Burying wrestlers that are actually moving merchandise. What the fuck is wrong with this picture? The fuck is writing these stories? If Ziggler can't get over, if he's going down, don't have him bring down the rest of the fucking wrestlers with him. This is stupid there. So yeah, that's about it there, fucking... Very ridiculous motherfucking gimmick that he's doing there. WWE, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with them, with the this shit there, but making fun of Warrior, talking shit about him. Like if he was worthless without the gimmick, shit like this. That makes no sense. Why the fuck would you put this on your television? Imagine how the Warrior's wife feels there. They bring her fucking every year for their little charities. Oh, by the way, we're going to say that your husband is worthless there. And he's a complete fucking fuck all nobody without his entrance. Don't forget to come back next year so we can make money with charities off of you and your dead husband that we just insulted there. Fuck off, you dummies. Until next time. Peace!